What's going on guys, Burke Crown here, coming at you with a question that was asked to me and I'm going to give it the answer as best I can. And I'm going to go over some scenarios of why Summer of Chell is Summer of Chell. Now the MSPs don't make sense to this scenario and some of them do, some of them don't. We'll get into that because some of them don't make sense if you go by this path that has been set for Summer of Chell. But the base Summer of Chell cards do. So I got to ask, how do they pick their cards for Summer of Chell? And basically it is stuff that has happened basically it's summer stuff right contracts trades buyouts and resigns stuff like that so we're going to get into some cards with the moves that they've made and why they are summer of chell cards so so let's get into it we're going to look at some cards i hope you guys do enjoy it if you do give it a thumbs up what is summer of chell okay so events make sense right draft jams all milestones they make sense when you look at summer of chell's msps Keandre Miller makes sense. He just signed a contract. Bo Horvat makes sense. He just signed a contract with the New York Islanders after being traded there. And then when you look at Zergachev, Tuck, Allmark, Morrissey, <laughs> Dreisaitl, all these guys are in the middle of their contracts. Nothing big for them this summer. Then these two guys here, Matt Duchesne and OEL, have been removed from their teams, right? OEL was bought out and signed a contract in Florida. And Matt Duchesne signed a contract in Dallas. That is why these two cards are Summer of Chell cards, because they've done movement in the summer. And they look good, right? They got their skating synergies. You can get Matt Duchesne up to 99 speed with Unstoppable Force. He's a nice card. And then likewise with OEL, I wish he had had Truculence, but you can get this card up to 95 speed at 6'2 for a defenseman. It's a little weak right now on the speed when you can have every single defenseman at 99 speed. But, uh, but yeah, like, it's not a bad card. Tristan Jari signed a new contract with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Eric Johnson, again, signed with Buffalo. Lucic signed with Boston. Pacioretty signed with Washington. Luke Shen leaving Toronto for a $2.75 million contract in Nashville. Toronto couldn't have paid him that. Uh, Sorokin signing a big $8 million deal. Frederick Anderson signing back up with Carolina. That is that is what Summer of Chell is. Comfort leaving Colorado and signing in Detroit. Ryan Reeves, big signing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I actually use this card, guys. This card's very good. I like it a lot. You can get him up to 94 speed and with Unstoppable Force and Truculence. He's a great offensive and defensive threat. Ryan O'Reilly leaving the Toronto Maple Leafs for the Nashville Predators. Again, 94 speed, 99 on the dot. You would not hate this card. Morgan Geeky now in Boston. Gold close quarters and 1T. You know, very good for this card. And this is what Summer of Chell is, guys. If you're playing this, you're playing this game right now, you can Summer of Chell is a great way to keep up with what's going on if you don't keep up with IRL hockey on Sportsnet or or via the internet like cat friendly has trades and and signings Th these cards pop up and be like oh my god morgan geeky in boston or you can be like oh my god a morgan geeky card what happened to morgan geeky and you can go look up then if he is a favorite player of yours jasper fast carolina shattenkirk detroit blake wheeler being bought out of the winnipeg jets and signing in with the new york rangers for eight hundred thousand. jason zucker leaving pittsburgh Deciding to take his services to the Arizona Coyote. Brian Donato getting in there with a contract to Chicago. Cody Glass signing up with Nashville. Nemestikov moving to another team. He is slowly becoming a huge journeyman in this league. The theme teams need players like Nemestikov, right? Players that have bounced around the league. They touch a little bit of a lot of theme teams. And, you know, you could use them. And Djokovic, again, a goalie that has uh, started to move around. But... Landing in Pittsburgh, maybe he, him and Jari will be a, a good tandem. Orlov going to Carolina, absolutely, you know, just another solid piece on that uh, ridiculously good blue line. Talbot going to LA, Mackenzie Blackwood, that's a really good pickup by San Jose, I like that, but not as much as Jonathan Drouin going to Colorado playing on that top line with McKinnon and Ranton and with the absence of Landis Gog. If Drouin can come back and be that that number one player that he was that might be a bit of an ask but if he can come back to that that would be that would be a huge pickup for under a million for the colorado avalanche either going to pittsburgh uh Invil signing a contract with the new york islanders and a big one mind you three million for seven years that's a that's a big contract for uh for pierre seven year commitment that's huge 
Kim Co Kim Costin. Somebody that Steve Eiserman said when he was in Tampa Bay he wanted and he finally got him and he's happy about it. Gudis going to Anaheim. Corpusalo with a big contract going to the Ottawa Senators, $4 million. That is something that uh, put a little hinge in the Samsonov contract with Toronto. It's really hard now to get Elias Samsonov under you know, $3.5 million when Corpusalo is making four. They take that to arbitration. We still haven't heard anything yet. Ian Cole going to Vancouver. Brandstrom signing up another contract with Ottawa, staying with Ottawa again. JVR going to Boston. Miles Woods leaving New Jersey and sliding on over to Colorado. Again, another pickup by Colorado. Noah Chari leaving Toronto. The summer of Chell cards and the summer of Chell event is a great way to stay in touch with IRL NHL. Right? Connor Brown. Did you know that Connor Brown is now in the Edmonton Oilers for $700,000? Like, that's that's a very good contract for Connor Brown. And who knows, maybe something sparks up with him and uh, Connor McDavid from their Erie Otter days. Michael Bunting getting a contract that we paid Tyler Bertuzzi. The only difference is Tyler Bertuzzi did it for one year. Michael Bunting did it for five. Big contract for Michael Bunting. Clifton getting into the $3 million contract. That's, that's really rich for Connor Clifton and Buffalo, but you know, you got to pay the market value. Justin Hall with a contract in Detroit. Kalorn leaving Tampa Bay and going over to Anaheim. So essentially, guys, what Summer of Chell is, is it's a very good way for you to keep in touch with what is going on in the NHL when you see new cards come out. Throughout the week, over in your Hut Central, you'll see here where, where you have the Allmark, the Miller, and the Byfield. Those are your MSPs that were just released. But you'll also see Summer of Chell free agency class. That is popping up, right? That is why these cards are in here. And that is how they come across the Summer of Chell cards. John Tavares is 98 for the New York Islanders. I still have not been able to find that card. I am trying. Oh, have I been trying? It's turning into the Morgan Riley card. The unfindable 98 overall Jonathan Tavares. The unfindable. 96 97 overall morgan riley hopefully one of these days i get to own him on my team because it you know he'll be fun to play with and he'll make me better right why not of course he'd make me better who knows you never know but i do want to find that john Tavares. he is still not up and the morgan riley is still not up because i just checked anyways i hope that does answer your question on how ea puts together their summer of child players and if you've seen a signing like the Debrinket trade, which and they did a card. If you see a signing on a player that comes in, signs a deal like when Elias Samsonov signs his contract, you'll see him pop in. Or if Matt Murray gets traded to make room for Samsonov, you might see a Matt Murray card come in. That is what Summer of Chell is. It's built around the action that happens in the NHL around summertime. So I hope you guys do get out there and use as many of these cards as you can to try them out because they are fun. They are well built. They have great speed. And... I do hope you have fun with the game, guys. It is summertime. It is time to try new cards and get ready for NHL 24. I am super excited for it. But let's tear into this summer with big games, high scores, great squad battles, big packs, huge rewards. And let's have some fun, guys. Till next time, ciao, ciao.